Hey, I got a favor to ask. Sure. My mom's been kind of an emotional wreck since that dentist she was dating dumped her. Dumped her? What, did he use a forklift? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. There's nothing funny about morbid obesity. She's huge, it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was just hoping that maybe you could check in on her tomorrow night, make sure she's doing okay. Dude, I'm a single man. Saturday night is my party night. <laughs> Are you ready for dessert? No, thank you, Mrs. Wallowitz. But uh, I've had a lovely time eating your brisket and hearing about the things you've had removed from your body over the years. <laughs> Didn't know you could have a cyst inside another cyst. The doctor said they were like Russian nesting dolls. <laughs> well, if you have to go, how about I put a little doggy bag together for you? That would be lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Mrs. Wallowitz, uh, are you okay? Don't mind me. I just cry when I'm lonely and have nothing to live for. <laughs> I, uh, I suppose I could stay for some dessert. Great. <laughs> Hello? Last night with my mom. Okay, I guess. What time did you leave? Uh, actually, I'm still here. <laughs> you spent the night? Yeah. Uh, after dinner, we watched a rerun of Rockford Files, and uh, then she opened a bottle of uh, cream sherry, and the next thing I know, she was tucking me into your bed. <laughs> you wore my pajamas? Mm-hmm. Rajesh, you up? You ready for breakfast? Oh boy, breakfast! Okay, Raj, listen to me. You need to get out of there. But I have a cream sherry hangover and I smell blinces. <laughs> if you don't leave now, she'll use food and guilt to keep you there for the rest of your life. Oh, I would stop. Trust me, you're not Jewish. That's how they get you. You're being silly. I can leave whenever I want. Oh, really? Where are your clothes and your shoes? They're on the chair, right over... <laughs> Oy vey. <laughs>